Welcome to Now in Android episode number 68, which highlights the privacy sandbox on Android, modularization, architecture, performance, deep links, Android Go edition, Android 13, Jetpack Glance, and more. The Privacy Sandbox aims to develop new technologies that improve user privacy and enable effective personalized advertising experiences for mobile apps. Developer Preview 5 was released, and this version is a major milestone that will become the foundation for upcoming Privacy Sandbox beta releases. Please keep giving us your feedback, and take a look at what changed in the blog post. The team just released new guidance on modularization. Guidance on this topic has been one of the top community requests, and here it is. The guide is split into two parts. The overview page gives you a high-level theoretical overview of the matter and its benefits. The common modularization patterns page dives deep into practical examples in the context of modern Android architecture. Apart from modularization, the team released more architecture content. If you need to make your app work offline, we got you covered. The new Built and Offline First App guide helps you design your app to properly handle reads and writes, and deal with synchronization and conflict resolution in a device with no internet connectivity. Another new guide is the Stakeholders and UI State page in the UI Layer Docs. Not everything needs to be present in view model classes. This page goes through the different types of stakeholders you can find in the UI layer and what their responsibilities are. Lastly, if you want to learn all about architecture and be up to date with our current best practices, check out the architecture pathway that got updated with all the videos of the architecture math skill series we produced early this year and the new documentation. Next up is the performance math skill series that has come to an end with the usual live Q&A, where Ben Weiss, Thomas Milnerich, Carmen Jackson, and Chris Craig answered your questions. To wrap up the series, Ben also wrote a blog post that contains a summary of all the videos. Don't miss it out. Regarding Android X releases, there are some worth highlighting. Core and Core KDX made it to 1.9 stable. This version improves compatibility with Android 13, adding parity between the accessibility framework and Compact APIs, and some other additions. New in beta, you can find CarApp 1.3, and new in alpha, Navigation 2.6 and Test UI Automator 2.3. A bunch of articles and videos have been published since the previous Now in Android episode. The DevRel team wrote about how TikTok enhanced its video social experience on Android. They were able to significantly improve their overall performance by following Android's performance guidance and employing their deep understanding of development tools such as Android Gradle plugin and Jetpack libraries. SAP started a crash course series about deep links. The first part is an introduction to deep links with a blog post and a video. Get to know what a deep link is, go from URIs to app links, and more. The second part goes over the different types of deep links, how to set them up, test them, and build the best user experience around them. Marcel wrote about experimenting with Jetpack Glance that covers a standalone experimental repository to supplement Jetpack Glance with tools that are commonly required for development but not yet available. At the moment, it includes a composable to display remote views inside your app, a debug tool to view and interact with app widget snapshots embedded inside the app, and a Material 3 scaffold for app widgets. Ben Trengrove wrote about debugging recomposition in Compose. Check it out because it also contains a screencast of Ben fixing a performance issue in JSNAC, a Compose sample. For this, Ben uses the Layout Inspector in Android Studio, where you can see the recomposition and skip counts of composable functions. Niharika started another blog post series about optimizing for Android Go Edition. The first part introduces Android Go Edition, why you would want to build for it, and some best practices based on experience building the Gboard and Camera from Google apps. Apart from blog posts, a new ADB podcast episode was published. 
In episode 188 and 313, Chet, Roman, and Thor talk about some of their favorite new features and changes of the new version of Android, both for users and developers. And that's it for this time. You can find all the links to the content I mentioned in the Now in Android episode 68 blog post in Medium. To get notified about future episodes, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Android Developers YouTube channel. Bye!